Hi guys, we are with your girl say you are on trending news. Youth stage answers protest in Lagos. Some youths in Lagos stage a peaceful protest demanding an end to the special anti robbery called SAS. The protesting youth gathered at Ikeja under bridge, carrying different state cards with various inscriptions lamenting police brutality and unlawful killings. The youth in a signed petition said, despite several reforms announced by the Inspector General of Police, cases of abuse of citizens by operatives of the special anti robbery called have increased without any steps taken by the High Command of Nigeria Police Force to address the fundamental problem of the impunity of the special anti robbery squad therefore demand the total disbandment of the special anti robbery squad then plan to take the protest to police headquarters in Ikeja to the Lagos State House of Assembly and continue for the next three days. Watch the video. Yes. Now, let me put it straight this very afternoon that the respected Frank Umba, who is our PPP arrow, would not or the Nigerian police as a whole would not pick Naira Mali to represent us. No! You will not pick Naira Mali to represent us. No! 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 If truly the IG, the President, the Youth Minister, if they want to engage us as you, Organizations, registered youth organizations, they were not engaged. They did not speak to us. The same pronunciation that has been made four years ago, lip pronunciation, we rejected this time. All we demand is simple. Maybe we reach your hearing. Sir, we want to, and this must get to the IG within 72 hours. And our demand is quite simple. No reform for SAS. And the, and the, and no reform for SAS. And, and we are not here to see the GPO. Who we are here to see is the Commissioner for Police, who is the able representative of the IG of this case. Yes! We are Federal governments begin movement of containers to Onisha River by 2021. In a push to discongest the Lagos ports, the federal government is perfecting arrangements for the Onisha River ports to begin full operation in the first quarter of 2021. This is as the National Inland Waterways Authority recently commenced a trial movement of containers from Onye to Onisha River and would, in the next couple of weeks, commence another trial of containers from Lagos to Onisha River ports. The Onisha River was built under the administration of President Shehu Shagari in 1983 and since then and it was rehabilitated and commissioned by former President Goodluck Jonathan in 2012. Recall that the federal government in August 2020 announced that it had put modalities in motion for the movement of cargoes by barge from Apapa Port in Lagos to Onisha River Ports. All right, guys, that will be all for today on Hanging Out to Say We're on Trending News. If you have any stories you want us to cover, do not hesitate to send us a mail. And don't forget to press the subscribe button to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when we upload new videos. Bye.